Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to uh, run through the process of taking a, uh, a diffuse image that you, you find on the internet or whatever and turning it into a physically based uh, material using Materialize. Okay, I'm going to open up an image that I have. I have this sewer cover image. And when you start, all of these guys are, are grayed out like you see here, but when you have something that can be turned into one of them, then they become available. So we can make a height map from the diffuse map. So I'm going to hit create here. And we have a uh, two equalizers, which are, this is the, the weighting for the frequency of of details like these are high frequency details and this is low frequency details so if you if you turn this up you see it there, there's much more high frequency detail in your height map for now I'm going to leave that there and these settings are are all right for now um, so with this image you can see how like the grout in between the bricks here is lighter than the bricks so this is kind of a, a funky image that that doesn't just work like right out of the out of the box with the, the luminosity as height so we can pick a color sample I'm gonna pick some something like this red here for these bricks and I'm going to, to try to isolate the, the color of the bricks. And I can show what that mask is. You see already I've got a pretty good isolation of this. And with the hue, saturation, and luminosity, you can uh, weight uh, which, you know, like how, how, how much of these affects the mask. So if you want it, to be only based on the hue, so only things that, that have this reddish color are going to show up in this mask. If you want it to be saturation, then only things that are as saturated as this color will show up in the mask. And same thing with, with luminosity. Uh, but we're going to do color and saturation because that works pretty well. There's not a lot of things that are both a combination of the red and as saturated as as the red so that's what I'm going to be using it's pretty good it's pretty good isolation of all the bricks there turn that off and I want another color for this for this metal here so I'm going to use the color sample too I'm going to pick a color around here so that's pretty good we can mess around with this again. Isolate that mask, and there you see it's it's selected the the color of that the metal surface. But I want to get a little bit more. Hmm. It seems like full saturation. Bring down the hue a little bit. That's pretty good. All right, so turn off isolate mask there, and you can see now the the metal part is a uh, is a lot brighter now. You change your base height, so I want this metal part to be a little bit higher than the bricks. And then this is the blending between the original uh, luminosity as height and the full. Uh, color selection as height. So that's a, somewhere in about halfway is, is pretty good for this. And we can make it darker and lighter. And, and what you want to do is you want to get a set of values where they're not above or below 1 or 0. These guys are pretty dark here. I think that's good for the height. So I'll save that as the height. 
So we have our height map up in here. And now from that, we can create the normal map. So this wasn't uh, available before, but we can create that. And again, there's the frequency equalizer. And there's some presets for all of these that just have some values that I put in. Uh, crisp looks pretty good, but kind of want some of the high or the low frequency stuff in there as well. Okay. I think that's pretty good. So the contrast, you can up the intensity of the of your normal map. And pre -con contrast is is the is this the contrast of this guy. And this guy will propagate all the way down through the other one. So if if this isn't enough, you can always do that one. But it's, it's, you don't want it to get out of hand. Right, so I think that's pretty good. So we'll set that as the normal map. We can preview all the images. You can see the diffuse, see the height, see the normal map. It's a pretty good looking normal map, I think. And so now we can make a our metallic map, and the metallic map is is a mask uh, of what on the material is metal, because metal has different uh, reflective properties, and it works the same way as the, the color picker for the height map does. You pick the color that you want to isolate. Nice. Nice blue color somewhere in here. Yeah, I'll do that. And for this, we have a, a blur size because you, you notice when you have it at a really. Uh, when you sample the image at its uh, original uh, sharpness, you get these little specks. And you don't want anything to be oh, out here to be metal, so you can turn up the blur size just a little bit, and those little flecks will disappear. And then I have a high pass overlay, which just sort of adds some of the detail of the original diffuse back in, just to give it some, uh, just to give it a little extra detail here. And we can change our bias, which is just make it a little bit darker. That's all right. I think that's it's pretty good. So that's going to be our our metallic mask there. Do that, and then smoothness is uh, same same thing. You could it uses the the metallic mask as one uh, sample that you can adjust the smoothness of, and then it has two color pickers. So we're going to do the bricks again here, because I like those bricks. Use the, we'll use the values that worked for the for the height map. And this one, again, uses uh, the blur size, but you don't really need it to be super blurry. And it, it, it's kind of nice when it's not, uh, because the, the smoothness is a little bit more forgiving than metalness or, or the height. Uh, base smoothness is like the initial color that that you have. Let's see, high pass again adds in some detail, but because our blur, if our blur was higher, you can see the high pass actually does something. But because it's pretty, we're using a blur size of one, it's not going to be noticeable. Uh, all right, Let's adjust the smoothness. And these high and lows is uh. This is sort of the the range from which it will go from like zero to one. So bringing up here, it'll have to be really close to that color. And here's like a pretty wide range, and doing that will be much more forgiving. So we want it to be fairly close to that color, and that's our original smoothness. And now I want to try to separate some more of this grout out. And we'll Bring up the space smoothness. 
pick this color here. Select that mask. Bring this guy up here. Just find a find a color that makes it want to isolate the guard. I think that's pretty good there. Do that. That's fine. All right, so we'll turn that off, and we'll lower this smoothness way down. So this grout is going to be really, really rough. Let's set that as the smoothness. Actually, we want to lower the smoothness of those bricks. I want to up the smoothness of the metal. Pretty good. And at this point, you can take a look at the full material. Uh, you see that it's, it's pretty blown out. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of washed out because we don't have uh, anything including the, all of the ambient light. So we'll make an AO map. And the AO map is available when you have a normal map. And it will also use the height map if it's available. So we'll do that. We can adjust the spread of the inclusion and how much the the depth factors in. So if you have really, if you set the depths really high, the high parts aren't going to get occluded at all. That's pretty good there. And one more thing is like the edge map. If you want to have your textures pop a little bit, the edge map is pretty good. And you can also use the, the edge map to turn a normal map into a into a height map. So there's a, a displacement option. You can set this to be your height map. But for now I just want to use this will try. It's fine. We'll turn down turn down the edge amount. You can turn down edge. Turn down the crevice. I want to keep the I'm going to keep the crevices, but I want a little bit less edge. And pinch will just sort of tighten it all up. I think that's pretty good. Up this contrast a little bit. i show the full material. See, now it's, there's plenty of occlusion in the, uh, in the shadow. that the uh, smoothness a little bit smoother. You can rotate around it by holding down right the right mouse button and dragging. And you can adjust the light and move the light around with the middle mouse button. So I like to get it at a I like to get it at an angle so I can see just how the light is playing off of it. I think these could be a little bit smoother. I'm going to up the smoothness there and up the smoothness here. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, see I like that. I like how this light plays off of those bricks. That's really nice. Yeah, and I think uh, I think this material is about done. In this uh, full material viewer, you have a few options. You've got the metallic slider that just multiplies uh, what your metallic map value was, and you have a smoothness multiplier so you can make things like twice as smooth or half as smooth. You've got a displacement here, so you can really crank up the displacement if you wanted to have a look at what it would look like if it went nuts with the displacement. And you can see how the the edge map will sort of make it pop out. And then you can up the ambient occlusion if you want. No ambient occlusion, full ambient occlusion, too much ambient occlusion. 
So these values don't affect your textures, they just affect how, uh, how you view the, the sample model here. And you can adjust the light as well, colors. Change the tiling. If this were a tiling texture, that would be a little, a little bit more useful. Same with the offset. So now we are pretty much done. You can also change the cube map to get different different lighting conditions here. Yeah, I think we're about done with this. And now you can just pick what format you want to save your guys in. You can save them individually, or you can save them all at once. Save them as Atari, since that's what I usually use. Save those maps. Got an output folder. Call this one sewer. And that goes to work. And here are my maps. So it's the aiming occlusion, the diffuse, the edge, the displacement, the metallic, the normal smoothness and that's that's it so that's just a quick uh, run through of how you can make a, a material out of a single texture and I'll make some more videos with some more uh, different kinds of materials and show you how to use the different different values and sliders to, to get some interesting effects All right. thanks